The school year is upon us, and what better way than to list all the TransLink bus routes from 2 to 900. In this video, we're going to do just that. If you like transit related content like this, then please consider subscribing to the channel. Now the biggest thing here is no internal numbers. We are only going by the list on the TransLink Next Bus page. For additional details such as schedule and frequency, check the TransLink website. Time exceptions will be mentioned, but to an extent. We just cannot cover every little detail because there's well over 200 bus routes. Now without wasting too much time, let's begin. Buses between 2 and 100 mainly run in Vancouver. The 2 goes from Burrard Station, down Cornwall and down McDonald Avenue to either 16th or Dunbar Loop. Route 3 connects downtown and Marine Drive Station by running along Main Street. 4 uses 4th Avenue to connect UBC, downtown and Powell Street. The 5 heads down Robson Street with connections to Skytrain and English Bay. The 6 connects English Bay and Skytrain via Davie Street. The 5 and 6 provide through service to each other, which means that the passenger does not have to get off to transfer as the bus changes destinations. The designated swap happens at English Bay and at Stadium Station. Route 7 runs in a U-shape, connecting Dunbar Loop, 4th Avenue, Downtown, Powell, and Nanaimo Street before ending at Nanaimo Station. The 8 is the Fraser Street bus, connecting Downtown and Fraser at Marine Drive. Route 9 is the Broadway Local, connecting Boundary Loop, Commercial Broadway Station, the Canada Line, and Alma with an extension out to UBC when school is in session. The 10 heads from downtown along Granville Street to Marple Loop and eventually Marine Drive Canada Line Station. 14 connects downtown to Kootenay Loop via Hastings in the east and to UBC via 4th Avenue and Broadway in the west. There is no evening service on the eastern portion. 15 connects Olympic Village Station to Marine Drive Station via Camby Street, a local alternative to the Canada Line. There is through service to Route 50 into downtown. Like the 7, the 16 is another U-shaped route, connecting 63rd Avenue Loop at Granville Street, Carisdale, downtown, and heading out along Hastings and Renfrew's 29th Avenue station. Additional service is provided when the PNE Fair is open for the end of summer. The 17 connects downtown and Marine Drive station, this time via Oak Street. The 19 is the Kingsway local, running all the way from Stanley Park to Metrotown station in Burnaby, the only trolley bus route to serve Burnaby. Route 20 connects downtown and Victoria Drive, connecting to Broadway station on the way to Southern Terminus at Harrison Loop near Marine Drive. No service is provided to Marine Drive Station. The 22 connects downtown and the Night Street Terminus at Night and Marine Drive. Here's everyone's favorite shuttle bus, the 23 Beach, connecting Main Street Station and English Bay via Beach Avenue. One of the routes that takes the longest to complete, the 25 runs from UBC to Brentwood Station, connecting to the Canada Line and BCIT along the way. A single trip in the peak hour can take well over 90 minutes to complete. The 26 takes riders around Champlain Heights. Route 27 connects Kootenay Loop and Joyce Station via Rupert Street. The 28 connects Joyce Station and Phibs Exchange with connections at Gilmore Station and Kootenay Loop. The 29 goes from 29th Avenue Station and down Elliott Street to Fraserwood Drive at Nanaimo Street and back the same way to Skytrain. The 31 runs between River District and Metrotown Station to serve the newly built development along Marine Drive near Boundary Road. The 32, one of three suspended routes, goes from Dunbar Loop to downtown in the mornings and from downtown to Dunbar in the afternoon rush. A peak hour route, it follows Route 7 for most of its route from Dunbar until 4th Avenue, until which it follows the two route to Broad Station. Route 33 connects UBC and 29th Avenue Station by way of 33rd Avenue with a connection to the Canada Line. The 41 is the 41st Avenue local, connecting Joyce Station in the east and Crown Street in the west. Routes 3 through 10 and 14, 16, 19, 20, and 41 make up the 315 kilometer, 195 mile long trolleybus network, the last operating in Canada. Shuttle Bus 42 only runs in the summer, connecting Alma at Broadway to Spanish Banks. The 44 is a weekday express run, which connects downtown and UBC via 4th Avenue. 49 is the 49th Avenue local, connecting Metrotown, Langara University, the Canada Line, Dunbar Loop, and UBC. The 50 connects downtown to Granville Island and Olympic Village. Through service is available to Route 15 on all southbound trips. Shuttle Bus 68 is the UBC area dormitory circulator, providing service to the various student housing units within UBC. Route 84 is also a 4th Avenue Express, except this one runs every day and has its eastern terminus at BCC Clark Station. The 99, the busiest route in the system, is the last remaining B-Line. 
connecting UBC, the Canada the Line, and commercial Broadway station by way of Broadway. Trips going in and out of the yard serve all the way to and from Boundary Loop. 100 is the Marine Drive Run, connecting 22nd Street Station, Knight Street Terminus, the Canada the Line at Marine Drive Station, and Marple Loop. For now, this route is the demonstrator for TransLink's fleet of four battery electric buses. This next selection of routes serve the Burnaby New West area. 101 connects 22nd Street and Lougheed Station, weaving through Uptown New Westminster and Caribou Road in the process. The 103 shuttle connects New West Quayside, New West Station, and Victoria Heights just east of McBride Boulevard. 104 Annesis Island connects Annesis Island and 22nd Street Station. 105 is the shuttle which goes around New Westminster, connecting the SkyTrain Station and Uptown. 106 connects New West and Edmund Station by way of 6th Street and Edmund Street. 109 connects New West Station and Lougheed Station by way of Columbia Street. 110 is one of four milk runs in Central Burnaby, connecting Metrotown and Lougheed Stations with a stop at Production Way Station. 112 is basically a 106, but runs along 14th Avenue, Kingsway, and 12th Street to connect Edmonds and New West. 116 connects Edmonds and Metrotown stations and provides service to Market Crossing and the Big Bend Industrial Area. 119 is the Kingsway route in Burnaby, also connecting Edmonds and Metrotown stations. The 123 connects New West and Brentwood stations by way of 8th Street and Canada Way with connections at BCIT and the Douglas College campus in New Westminster. Bus 128 goes from Bade to 22nd Street stations along 8th Avenue. 129 heads from Patterson Station up Gilmore through Hastings Street and down Holdham to Holdham Station with a connection at Gilmore Station. A circulator route serving Burnaby through service is available to Route 133 south of Holdham Station. 130 is the Willingdon Avenue new local route, connecting Metrotown Station, BCIT, Brentwood Station, Kootenay Loop, and all the way to Phibs Exchange on some trips. Routes 131 and 132 are shuttle circulator routes north of Hastings Street and Burnaby, serving Burnaby Heights and Capitol Hill respectively. 133 continues off the 129 and connects Holdham and Edmund stations by way of Holdham Avenue. The 134 is also a milk run, connecting Lake City Way Station, Sperling Station, and Brentwood Station on the Millennium Line by way of Curtis Street and Sperling Avenue. Bus 136 is also a milk run, connecting Lougheed, Production Way, Hold'em, and Brentwood stations via Forest Grove Drive and Halifax Street. The next three buses serve SFU Burnaby Campus. The 143 goes to Burquitlam Station, only serving Monday through Friday. Like the 110, the 144 is also a milk run, running every day, connecting SFU to Sperling and Metrotown stations. The 145 runs every day down to Production Way Station. This is the one they want to replace with the gondola. Routes 146, 147, and 148 are community shuttle services which run in the area of Suncrest and South Slope in Burnaby. Connections from these services are available at Metrotown, Royal Oak, and Edmonds depending on which one. This next selection of buses runs primarily in the Tri-Cities area. The 150 is one of two summertime buses in the Tri-Cities, connecting Coquitlam Station and White Pine Beach. Bus 151 connects Coquitlam Station and Burquitlam Station by way of Como Lake Avenue. Bus 152 complements that by connecting Coquitlam and Lougheed Stations via Austin Avenue. The 153 connects Coquitlam and Braid Stations via Como Lake Avenue, Coquitlam Work Center, and Bruna Avenue. Route 155 connects Braid and 22nd Street stations via 6th Avenue. This is sort of an exception, as much of the route is in New Westminster. The 156 is a circulator route connecting Lougheed and Braid stations with a connection at the Coquitlam Rec Center. The 157 is also a circulator route connecting Lougheed Station, Coquitlam Rec Center, and Burquitlam Station. Route 159 is the Mary Hill Industrial Route, connecting Braid Station, Mary Hill Industrial, Poco Station, and Coquitlam Station. Bus 160 is the Hastings East Barnet Highway Local, running between Kootenay Loop and Poco Station with connections at all Millennium Line stations in Port Moody and Coquitlam. At one point, it was an express run making limited stops to downtown. 
This was discontinued when the Millennium Line was extended to Coquitlam in 2016. The 169 is the link between Braid and Coquitlam stations, with service running on Lougheed Highway, with additional stops at Riverview. The 170 is a community shuttle service doing circulator service in southern Port Coquitlam. Community Shuttle Route 171 runs from Coquitlam Station to Burris at Dominion, where it provides through service onto Route 172, providing circulator service along Prairie Avenue before heading back to Coquitlam Station. Service is provided in both directions. The through service thing is also the case for Routes 173 and 174, which weave around Port Coquitlam with connections at Coquitlam and Poco Stations. The 175 is a weekday only community shuttle service that connects Poco and Coquitlam stations with the Mary Hill industrial area. The 179 is a summer only service that runs between Bunsen Lake and Coquitlam Station. Bus 180 connects Lougheed and Moody Center stations by way of Coquitlam Station and communities in the hilly areas of Western Port Moody. 181 is a shuttle route that runs between Ioko and Moody Center Station. 182 supplements the 181 by providing service between Admore, Belcara, and Moody Center Station. The 183 runs between Moody Center and Coquitlam Station by way of Heritage Mountain Boulevard, Panorama Drive, and Pineshe Way. Connections are available at all Millennium Line stations in Port Moody and Coquitlam. Meanwhile, the 184 and 185 is another through service on the community shuttles that connect Moody Center, Inlet Center, and Coquitlam stations to Panorama Drive and Westwood Plateau. The 186 community shuttle route connects Westwood Plateau and Coquitlam Station, passing Lincoln and Lafarge Lake stations and Douglas College. Moving on, the 187 community shuttle route roughly serves the same area, except it goes further north and serves Johnson Street instead of Pine Tree Way. Bus 188 connects Coquitlam and Poco stations by way of Pine Tree Way, David Avenue, and Coast Meridian Boulevard. Connections are made at Lincoln and Lafarge Lake stations, as well as Douglas College. The 189 connects Coquitlam Central Station and the Lafarge Park neighborhood to the north. Finally in Poco, Route 191 connects Coquitlam Station and Burke Mountain via Pine Tree Way and David Avenue with connections to Lafarge Lake Douglas Station and Douglas College. And that wraps up our Tri-City bus routes. Now we move on to routes in the North and West Vancouver area. The 209 runs on evenings only, connecting Barrage Station, Phibs Exchange, and Lynn Valley. The 210 does the same thing as the 209, but runs in the daytime and is an express between Barrage and Phibs. The 211 connects Barrage Station, Phibs Exchange, and Deep Cove via Seymour. The portion west of Phibs Exchange does not run past 5 p.m. The 212 connects Phibs and Deep Cove via Dalton Highway. Route 214 connects Phibs Exchange and the Blue Ridge neighborhood at Shelt at Hyannis. Supplemental peak hour service continues to Barrage Station in the morning rush and starts at Barrage Station for two trips in the p.m. rush. The route uses standard buses operated by CMBC during rush hours and community shuttle buses by West Vancouver Municipal Transit during off-peak times. The 215 community shuttle route connects Indian River Drive at Inlet Crescent with Vibs Exchange. Route 222 is the Willingdon Express connecting Metrotown Station, BCRT, Brentwood Station, Kootenay Loop, and Phibs Exchange in both directions. This bus only operates during rush hour. Check out this video for more details. But long story short, this bus might become Rapid Bus or BRT and later on a SkyTrain. Anyways, the 226-227 Community Shuttle Routes connect Phibs with Lynn Valley and the Lynn Canyon Ecological Reserve. The former runs during summer only and supplements 227 service between Lynn Valley and the Ecological Reserve. Route 228 connects Lonsdale Key and Lynn Valley by way of Grand Boulevard. The 229 also connects Lonsdale and Lynn Valley but runs up Lonsdale Avenue to 29th Street. Route 230 connects Lonsdale Key and Upper Lonsdale via Lonsdale Avenue. The 231 connects Lonsdale Key and the North Shore Auto Mall. It goes to the Auto Mall in the morning rush and takes people back to the Key in the afternoon rush. Bus 232 connects Phibs Exchange and Grass Mountain by way of Keith Avenue, Lonsdale Avenue, Queens Road, and Capilano Road with a connection to Edgemont Village. Route 236 connects Grass Mountain and Lonsdale Key via Capilano Road. The 240 connects Downtown and Lynn Valley in a C-shaped route going by the Lionsgate Bridge compared to the 210 which uses the second narrows. The 240 is the more popular of the two routes. The 241 is a peak hour run that is essentially a 240 that goes to Upper Lonsdale in the PM rush and into downtown during the morning rush. 
the 245 transports students between Fibs and Capilano University. This route is very short, taking 10 minutes to complete. Route 246 heads from downtown over the Lions Gate through Edgemont Village and continues as Route 249 to Lonsdale Key from Mount Royal Boulevard to Gun Canyon Drive. Service is provided 7 days a week in both directions. Skipping back a couple, we have the 247 heading from Gauss Mountain over the Lions Gate Bridge to downtown Vancouver in the morning and back to the Skyride in the afternoon rush. Contrary to what the number suggests, this route does not run all day. 250 is the signature route of West Vancouver Municipal Transit, running from downtown Vancouver out to Park Royal and Dundarayu at Marine Drive at 25th Street. Around half of all trips extend out to Horseshoe Bay. 251 and 252 provide community shuttle service uphill between Park Royal and Dundarayu. 253 and 254 are both circulator services. The former connects downtown and the western communities around Caulfield, and the latter connects downtown and the high-end British properties. For both these routes, service to and from Vancouver is only available during the peak hour. At all other times, the southern terminus is at Park Royal. Are you still with me? Good. We are more than halfway done, so let's keep rolling. 255 is the North Shore Crosstown Local, connecting Nundurave, Park Royal, and Capilano University. Buses only run east of Park Royal in the evenings. Route 256 is a community shuttle service, connecting Park Royal and the Spurway area just north of Highway 1 and 22nd Street, not the SkyTrain station, the road in West Van. The 257 is the Downtown Horseshoe Bay Express, a vital route that provides service to BC Ferry services via Highway 1 with a stop at Park Royal. This route was transferred to CMBC in 2018. This was done to put more Arctics on the route. Route 258 is the second route that is suspended at the time of posting. It is essentially a 250 that heads to UBC in the morning from Dundurave and heads back up to West Van in the afternoon rush. No stops are served between downtown and UBC. The 262 is a community shuttle service that connects Caulfield, Horseshoe Bay, and Lions Bay along the Sea to Sky Highway. The 262 is the farthest north you can go on the TransLink bus network. Routes 280, 281, and 282 are all on Bowen, Bowen, Bowen Island. There's two different pronunciations to that. The 280 is the crosstown service connecting Snug Cove and Blue Water Beach. The 280 is also the farthest west on the TransLink network. The 281 heads up the west coast of the island, and the 282 heads up to Killarney Lake and the east trailhead of the Mount Gardner Trail. The 282 runs on weekends only. None of these routes have evening service. The 215, 226, 227, 262, portions of Route 214 as we discussed, and conventional routes 250 through 258 are operated by West Vancouver Municipal Transit, the last city-owned and operated transit system within Metro Vancouver, as well as North America. The company uses their own fleet of buses but operates under contracts to TransLink. And that wraps up buses on the North Shore. Routes in the 300s primarily operate in Surrey and Delta. This is also where we start to see the commuter runs, which are buses that operate out of Richmond Transit Center and use the commuter fleet of suburban buses. Starting with the 301, we have the Highway 91 commuter bus, connecting Brighouse Station in Richmond and Newton Exchange in Surrey. There is a transfer available at Scottsdale Exchange. This express provides crucial service between Kwantlen University's Surrey and Richmond campuses. The 310 connects Scottsdale and Ladner Town Center with a stop at Ladner Exchange. Select trips operated by community shuttles serve the Delta View Habilitation Center. Route 311 is a commuter run that heads to Bridgeport Station in the morning and back to Scottsdale via Highways 99 and 10 in the afternoon. The 312 is the 112 Street Local, connecting Scott Road Station and Scottsdale. The 314 is the Sunbury Local, connecting Surrey Central and Sunbury. Some trips only serve the section between Surrey Central Station and Scott at 96th Avenue. Route 316 is the 116th Street Local Route, connecting Surrey Central Station and Scottsdale. Route 319 is the notoriously known Scott Road Local, connecting Scott Road Station, Scottsdale, KPU Surrey Campus, and Newton Exchange. While the 319 is set to retain its role as a local service, the R6 Rapid Bus in 2023 is set to take over as the main bus serving these locations. The 320 is the 104th Avenue Local, connecting Surrey Central, Guildford, and Fleetwood, with almost half of all trips extending to Langley Center via Cloverdale. I guess in some ways this is also a circulator route. Bus 321 is the King George Boulevard Local, connecting Surrey Central and King George Stations, 
Newton Exchange, South Surrey Park and Ride, and White Rock Center. Trips extend to Scott Road Station in both directions during the rush hour, along with service to New West Station on early mornings when SkyTrain has a later start time. The 319, 320, and 321 constitute the big three of Surrey's bus routes, being the main bus services in the Surrey Delta area since 1975. Route 322 is a community shuttle service, connecting Scottsdale and Newton Exchange as a circulator service in the Surrey-Newton area around Highway 10. Connection is also available at Kwantlen University. The next three buses connect Surrey Central Station and Newton Exchange. 323 runs along 128th Street, the 324 along 132 Street, and the 325 heads along 140 Street. Bus 326 connects Surrey Central Station, King George Station, and Guilford via 88th Avenue and 156th Street. Route 329 has limited daytime service Monday through Saturday and connects Surrey Central Station, King George Station, and Scottsdale by way of 96th Avenue and 124th Street. Evening service is not provided. The 335 is the Fleetwood Circulator Route, connecting Surrey Central Station, Gateway Station, Guilford, Fleetwood Center, and Newton Exchange. It runs in a reverse C shape and mainly serves 108 Avenue, 160 Street, and eastern sections of 72 Avenue. Bus 337 is the Fraser Heights Bus, connecting Surrey Central Station, Guilford, and Fraser Heights. It uses the shuttle buses on weekends and standard buses Monday through Friday. These next three routes were at one point part of the 340. Let's start with the 340. Nowadays, it's one of the shorter commuter runs, connecting 22nd Street Station and Scottsdale via Highway 91 and Kitson Parkway. The 341 heads between Guilford in the north and Newton Exchange in the south, with service mainly running on 144 and 148 streets. Bus 342 connects Langley Center and Newton Exchange via Highway 10, passing Cloverdale and the Surrey Courthouse along the way. Bus 345 runs on weekdays only, and connects King George Station and White Rock Center along Fraser Highway and 152 Street. This route serves the retail areas in Sullivan Heights, and South Point along the way. Once part of the 351, the 350 connects Crescent Beach and White Rock Center via 128th Street and North Bluff Road. The 351 is the White Rock Center commuter bus, connecting Bridgeport Station, South Surrey Park and Ride, and White Rock Center via Highway 99. Bus 352 operates during peak hours only, going north in the mornings from White Rock Center, 128th, and Crescent Road to South Surrey Park and Ride, where it continues north to Bridgeport Station. During the PM rush, it heads southbound. Bus 354 is the White Rock South commuter run, following the 352 routing to South Surrey Park and Ride, and continuing south along Morgan Heights before returning to White Rock Center. Buses head north in the morning and south in the afternoon. The next four buses make up the community shuttle network in South Surrey White Rock. Route 360 connects Peace Arch Hospital and Ocean Park via 20th Avenue. From 128th at North Bluff, it continues as Route 361, which heads back to the hospital and White Rock Center via Marine Drive. The road in White Rock, not Vancouver. The 362 connects the White Rock Promenade at the seaside with White Rock Center. Finally, for these four buses, the 363 provides access to Morgan Heights, running as a circulator between King George at 148th Street and White Rock Center. Conventional Bus 364 is the 64 Avenue local, linking up Langley Center and Scottsdale Exchange. Again, the next four is the selection of community shuttle routes in Surrey. Bus 370 connects Cloverdale and Willowbrook via Clayton Heights. Bus 371 runs in the Bridgeview area in Surrey, running between Surrey Central, Gateway Station, and Scott Road Skytrain stations. The 372 is the 72 Avenue shuttle in Clayton Heights, connecting Fraser Highway at 184th Street and Langley Center via 72 Avenue and Kwantlen University Langley Campus. Next is the 373, linking up Surrey Central Station, Gateway Station, and Guildford, providing service to the Parkman area north of 108th Avenue in Surrey. Then we have Bus 375, which is the all-day local run along 152 Street, connecting 8th Avenue at King George Boulevard, White Rock Center, and Guilford. Like the 345, this bus also serves the South Point and Sullivan Heights retail hubs. These next five buses provide service during rush hour only. Bus 388 connects Carvel Exchange in Langley to 22nd Street Station in New West, providing service along 88th Avenue. Service on this route is provided in both directions. The 391 connects Scottsdale and Scott Road Station, heading north along 116th Street in the morning and back south in the afternoon. Also heading north in the morning and south in the afternoon is the 393, between Newton Exchange and Surrey Central Station. Essentially a supplement to the existing 323, it provides service along King George, 
64 and 128th Street. Then we have the 394 King George Boulevard Express, largely following the 321 route with limited stops between King George Station and White Rock Center. Service on this route is provided in both directions. Last in the 300s is Route 395, heading from Langley Center to Cloverdale to King George Station via Fraser Highway and 168th Street in the mornings and back to Cloverdale and Langley Center in the afternoon. Buses in the 400s are primarily allocated to buses running in Richmond. Bus 401 connects Steveston Village and Brighouse Station via number 1 road. Bus 402 also connects these two places but goes by number 2 road. Do you know where the 403 goes? Bingo! Number 3 road. Connecting all Canada Line stations on the Richmond branch, it runs between Bridgeport Station and Riverport Complex east of Steveston and Highway 99. The 404, you guessed it, runs on number 4 road, connecting Brighouse Station and Riverport Complex. Okay, this is getting too easy. Number 405, 5 road, connecting Ironwood Industrial Area, Brighouse Station, Vulcan Industrial Area, and Night at Marine. How about the 406? Psych! That's the wrong number! Oh! That small trick only works on routes 401 through 405. The 406 connects Steveson Village and Brighouse Station via Railway Avenue. Bus 407 connects Steveson Village, Brighouse Station, Bridgeport Station, Vulcan Industrial Area, and Night at Marine, and runs primarily on Gilbert and Bridgeport Roads. They've been looking at splitting this route into two, but nothing's come up yet. Speaking of splitting, this next bus route was once part of Route 401. Bus 408 connects Brighouse Station and either Riverport Recreation Complex on evenings and weekends, or Ironwood Industrial Area on all other times. It mainly provides service along Garden City Way in Richmond. Continuing on the splitting part, the 406 was once part of the 410. The 410 provides an important regional connection, connecting 22nd Street Station in New Westminster to Brighouse Station in Richmond. During peak hours, service is run on Westminster Highway. All of the times, it runs on Highway 91. Connections are made at Aberdeen and Lansdowne Canada Line stations. Route 412 is the Sea Island South and South Terminal service, connecting Bridgeport Station with the YVR South Terminal, BCRT Sea Island Campus, as well as various aviation-focused industrial centers along the way. The 413 is the Steveson Highway Shuttle, running between Riverport Complex and Steveson Village. Route 414 is the Richmond Olympic Oval Shuttle Route, connecting the Olympic Oval with Westminster Highway and Brighouse Station. Bus 416 is the Richmond East Shuttle Bus, providing circulator service around Camby Road. Running on weekdays only, it connects the southern parts of Vulcan Industrial with KPU Richmond and Brighouse Station. The 418 serves Kingswood Industrial, connecting it to 22nd Street Station. Although it is a peak hour route, it runs in both directions. Route 430 also provides an important regional connection but this time as an express route, connecting Metrotown Station and Brighouse Station, passing by Bridgeport Station along the way, as well as Knight Street and Vulcan Industrial Area, as well as 49th Avenue in Vancouver. The third suspended route is the 480 connecting UBC and Bridgeport Station. Buses ran to UBC in the morning and Bridgeport Station in the afternoon before suspension. This one has caused a stir among UBC students. And that's the end of our Richmond buses. Now let's move to Langley with the 500s. The 501 connects Surrey Central Station and Langley Center via 104th Avenue, Guilford, Harvold Exchange, and 200th Street. The 502 takes the Fraser Highway route, connecting Surrey Central and Langley Center as a local service. Bus 503 is the Express on Fraser Highway, providing service between Surrey Central and Langley Center, with half of all trips extending to and from Aldergrove from Langley as a local service. A small tidbit is that this was supposed to be the Fraser Highway Rapid Bus, but that was changed when it was decided to run SkyTrain down Fraser Highway by the end of the decade. The 509 is the Walnut Grove Express, heading from Walnut Grove to Carvelth Exchange, Guilford, and Surrey Central in the morning, and heading back out to Walnut Grove in the evening rush. No stops are made between Surrey Central and Guilford. Bus 531 is the Campbell Heights Industrial Route, with connections to Langley Center in the north along 200th Street and White Rock Center to the west along 24th Avenue. The 555 is the Highway 1 commuter bus between Carvelth Exchange in Langley and Lougheed Station in Burnaby. This bus route only has one intermediate stop at Highway 1 at 156th Street. Despite that, the 555 is instrumental in connecting Walnut Grove and Langley to SkyTrain in Burnaby. 
The next five buses, 560 to 564, make up the Community Shuttle Network in Langley and Brookswood. Along with the Bone Island buses on routes 370 and 372, these routes are operated by First Transit. The 560 connects Langley Center and Langley Memorial Hospital and continues as Route 561 from 48th Avenue at 208th Street. The 561 goes south into Brookswood and back up to Langley Center, continuing from the 560 service. The 560 and 561 operate through service between each other in both directions, and the swap takes place at 48th Avenue and 208th Street. Bus 562 connects Fort Langley with Carvoth Exchange to the north and Langley Center to the south. The 563 makes a loop to Fern Ridge and back to Langley Center. Buses head down to 198th Street at 24th Avenue before heading back north. Finally, the 564 connects Willowbrook Mall and Langley Center as a circulator service. Last in the 500s, the 595 also provides a vital regional connection, but is not as frequent. It connects Langley Center, Carvoth Exchange, and Maple Meadow Station to Maple Ridge by running mostly on 208th Street and the Golden Ears Bridge. Additional service is provided during the peak hour to 203 Street at Lougheed Highway to provide a connection to the R3 Lougheed Highway Rapid Bus. And that finishes up our 500s. Next up is the 600s which mainly serves Tawasson and Ladner. Now these next few routes in the 600s primarily run in the Ladner Tawasson area. Specifically, the next four, 601 through 604, are all commuter runs with a northern terminus at Bridgeport Station. The 601 is the only one of these that runs all day, connecting Bridgeport Station and Tawasson via Highway 99, Lagner Exchange, 52A Street, Tawasson Mill Shopping Center, and South Delta Exchange. Bus 602 does the same thing except for one, it runs to Bridgeport Station in the morning and to Tawasson in the afternoon, and two, it skips Ladner Exchange and Tawasson Mills by continuing along Highway 17A. Like the 602, the 603 and 604 run north in the morning rush and south in the evening rush. These buses provide loop service to Beach Grove and English Bluff Road respectively. They switch between each other and terminate at South Delta Exchange. Before 2009, the 604 used to be called Route 604 Vancouver, and as many of you may recall, the northern terminus for all these bus routes was truncated to Bridgeport Station when the Canada Line began operations. Buses 606 and 608 also run during the peak hours only. The 606 Ladner Ring heads in a clockwise loop within Ladner in the PM rush, while the 608 Ladner Ring heads in a counterclockwise route in the morning. The next five routes are community shuttle routes in the area of Ladner and Tawasson. Bus 609 runs between South Delta Exchange and the Tawasson First Nation, providing service to Tawasson Mills along the way. Route 614 complements the 603 and 604 services as the all-day service connecting South Delta Exchange, English Bluff, and Beach Grove Road. Together, the three routes are the closest in the TransLink system to the U.S. border, providing service along one avenue just north of the crossing into Point Roberts, Washington. Bus 616 runs in a loop in South Ladner, connecting Ladner Exchange and 46A Street at River Road West. Service is not provided in the evening. Bus 618 runs in a loop in North Ladner, connecting northern communities in Ladner to Ladner Exchange. Like the 616, service is not provided in the evening. The last shuttle bus in this section is the 619, which provides service to Boundary Bay and connects to South Delta Exchange. The 620 is the Bridgeport Station Tawasson Ferry Express, a vital service that provides service to the BC Ferries Terminal via Highway 17 and 17A, with stops at Tawasson Mills and Ladner Exchange. Finally, the 640 is the Tilbury Industrial Route, connecting Scott Road Station in the north and Ladner Exchange in the south. This bus service makes a slight detour during week days to better serve the industrial area in Tilbury. Now we will move to the 700s which mainly run in the Maple Ridge area. Now aside from the 701 and 791, everything else is a community shuttle route. 
Route 701 is the feeder service connecting Coquitlam Station in the west and numerous key hubs in the east, such as Haney Place and Dudney at 248th Street. Connections are made to the West Coast Express at Pitt Meadows and Maple Meadows West Coast Express stations. Four weekday trips extend all the way out as far east as Mission City. Roughly every second eastbound trip alternates between Maple Ridge East at Dudney at 248th Street and Haney Place Shopping Center. The 701 mission is the farthest east anyone can go on the TransLink bus network. Buses 719 and 722 are through services to each other. Starting at Meadowtown Shopping Center, buses head to Maple Meadow Station, down to the industrial area near the Fraser River, and back up to Meadowtown. The swap between the two routes happens at Fraser Way at Bay Mill Road. Bus 733 starts at Haney Place and provides service to and from the Rockridge community to the north. So Select trips have an additional connection at Port Haney Station. Bus 741 starts at Haney Place and provides service to and from the Silver Valley community to the north. Select trips have an additional connection at Port Haney Station. The 733 and 741 routes were identified in the Northeast Area Transit Plan as a new service area in 2017. Moving on, the 743 connects Haney Place Exchange, Meadow Town, and Maple Meadow Station via ordinary roads. The Sunday variant sees service only between Haney Place and the Haney Bypass. Bus 744 connects to the same places as the 743 but uses different roads. Service is not provided on Sundays. Buses 745 and 746 connect Haney Place Exchange and communities in Albion. The routes provide through service to each other and the swap takes place at Albion Park, Jackson at 103 Avenue. Some of these routes take so many roads and it's hard to explain in one sentence. I'll be honest. You get that? I'll be honest. Select 746 trips have an additional connection at Port Haney Station. The 748 connects Haney Place and Wanak. Select trips have an additional connection at Port Haney Station. There is no evening service on this bus route. The easternmost shuttle route in the network is Route 749, connecting Haney Place and Ruskin. There is no evening service on this route. The last bus route in the 700s is Route 791, which is a weekday express run that connects Braid Station with Haney Place Exchange. The express portion is in the United Boulevard industrial area, and there is no evening service on this bus route. And that concludes our 700s. Here on out, things get a bit wonky. Skipping over to the 900s, there is only one bus, the summer-only 900 bike bus route, which is essentially a 620 Tawasan Ferry Bridgeport station bus made specifically for cyclists. Now you did notice that we skipped the 800s. Bus routes in this category are internal numbers for various school special routes to and from the various secondary schools across Metro Vancouver. It was decided that this would also be the internal number category for the rapid bus routes. Now that we've arrived at our rapid bus routes, let's just refer to them by their normal number. R1 is the King George Boulevard rapid bus in Surrey, connecting Guildford and Newton Exchange to Skytrain. R2 is the Marine Drive rapid bus in North Vancouver, connecting Park Royal, Lonsdale Key, and Phibs Exchange. R3 is the Lougheed Highway rapid bus in Maple Ridge, connecting Coquitlam Station and Caney Place Exchange. R4 is a flash cartridge for the Nintendo DS. <laughs> It's also the number for the 41st Avenue Rapid Bus, connecting Joyce Station and UBC with stops like Dunbar Loop and the Canada Line. Finally, the R5 Hastings Street Rapid Bus connects downtown Vancouver and SFU Burnaby Campus. Connections are available at Kootenai Loop. Now there are just 10 more bus routes to go. These remaining 10 are the night bus routes, connecting downtown Vancouver and a selection of corridors. N8 is the Fraser Night Bus, providing midnight service on Fraser Street in Vancouver. N9 heads out to Coquitlam Station via Lougheed Highway. This route mimics the Millennium Line. And 10 is the Richmond Night Bus. It heads out of downtown and mimics the Canada Line on both branches south of Bridgeport Station. N15 is also the Canada Line Night Bus, connecting downtown and Marine Drive Station via Camby Street. Bus N17 is the UBC Night Bus which basically follows Route 14 out of downtown into UBC. The N19 is the quote-unquote crown jewel of night bus runs, connecting downtown and Surrey Central via Kingsway and the Patola Bridge. Select trips head east out to nearest Minster Station only. Bus N20 mimics the 20 Victoria route, providing midnight bus service along Victoria to Marine Drive Station. The N22 follows the 2 route to Dunbar Loop, providing midnight service along McDonald to Dunbar Loop. 
Bus N24 is the Lynn Valley Night Bus, which reflects daytime portions of Route 240 to Lynn Valley. Lastly, there's the N35, connecting downtown and SFU via Hastings Street. This route follows the old, old 135 bus, which became the 95 B Line, which became the R5 Hastings Street Rapid Bus. And that sums up all our bus routes. That brings us to a grand total of 230 bus routes. And that includes 158 standard bus routes and 72 community shuttle buses. Aside from the night buses and notwithstanding the classification of route numbers according to bus yards, there are 35 bus routes in Vancouver, 27 in Burnaby New West, 28 in the Tri-Cities, 32 on the North Shore along with 3 on Bowen Island, 41 in Surrey, 16 bus routes in Richmond, 12 bus routes in Langley, 13 in Tawasin, 12 buses in Maple Ridge, and one bike bus route. Now what's the point of this? Really quickly, three points. Number one, the route areas are open to interpretation. The groupings were based roughly on the Wikipedia list, and that was for the sake of organizing the video. I abolished separating by transit centers because that's not my target audience, and that would be way too confusing for the non-bus spotters. Number two, the route names themselves are open to interpretation. And this sparks huge debates around route names and wayfinding. For example, there are many routes which take many different roads such as the 320, and as such, there are different bus routes that are more defined by the places they connect versus which road they run on. Take for example the highway buses. Now let's not forget that this is a global and worldwide debate, but I challenge viewers how might this apply in the TransLink context. And number three, you kind of see the disparity between transit in eastern areas areas such as Maple Ridge and Langley compared to somewhere like Vancouver or Burnaby. Now that will do it for this video. Which of these bus routes do you use the most? Leave it in the comments. If you like transit related content like this, then please consider subscribing to the channel and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.